What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we have an update to one of Samsung's best apps that is now have support for One UI 6.0. And it's got some crazy new features in it as well that are gonna be very useful in your day-to-day -day use. So we're gonna get into that. Lots of the uh, good lock apps are getting updated now for One UI 6.0 because we know the stable release is just around the corner. Very, very excited to see that. Before we get started, I wanna thank my son, Jonathan. We got the Rhino Brachiosaurus hanging out. He always gives us some dinosaurs and animals to hang out in the video. We do appreciate that. And I also wanna remind you guys about my partners at Ultra Mobile. Ultra Mobile has amazing wireless service where you also get the affordability, flexibility, and reliable plans that will meet your needs on the T-Mobile 5G network. And one of the best things about Ultra Mobile is that they're a sister brand of Mint Mobile, as we know, but they also have this amazing international package where you get international talk and text to a bunch of different international destinations. As you guys can see here, upgraded plan, same price, more data in international destinations than ever. They also have one, three, six, and 12 month options. They've upgraded their plans. You can see the two gig plan right there is now three. The three gig plan became five, etc. Five gigabytes of 5G data in this plan, monthly $1.50 international call credit for those interna international destinations that aren't included uh, in the plan overall, and then the one-time $5 international roaming credit as well. Amazing service, especially if you are someone who lives in the U.S. You need to call internationally to some of those destinations. If you guys want to give them a try, go to tryultramobile.com slash Springer. Check it out. I've been using an Ultra Mobile SIM in my Z Fold 5, actually, for quite a while now, which is my second device after the S23 Ultra. Uh, and I really love the Ultra Mobile service. Pretty much the same great service you've come to expect uh, on the T-Mobile network and uh, really great international opportunities as well. If you need that, try ultramobile.com slash Springer to sign up. It's also in the pinned comment description. We do appreciate Ultra Mobile for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and get started talking about Nice Catch, which is the update that rolled out. Let me go into the Good Lock suite, which is where Nice Catch is found. And let's go into the Galaxy Store to take a look at the most recent update. The update rolled out October 12th, although I got a little later on the 15th, I think. Uh, version 6.0.01.3, 6.91 megabytes. Here's what's new. Uh, One UI 6.0, new feature, sound history. New feature, notification blocked history. New feature, notification muted history. And then some minor stability improvements. Now notice, all of these features, these three new features, are brand new and only exclusive to One UI 6.0. So if you have One UI 5.0 or 5.1, you have a phone that's not gonna get the One UI 6.0 update, then you won't necessarily receive these awesome features as well. So if you open up Nice Catch, turn it on. Now here's the first new feature right here. You can see it, Sound History. What you can do is turn this on and then it'll show a list of applications that made sound. Basically, Nice Catch is all about if you had an app that sent you a notification, you missed it, or you had an application that sent you a toast notification, you missed it, um, it will give you um, a list of those. You can go back and revisit, see what happened, like wake up history, vibration history, ringer, ringer history. That's always been the purpose of Nice Catch. And now you can do for any sound, not just ring notifications, things like that, any sound at all will now work. So that's the first one. The next one is notification blocked history. So if we go in here, scroll down a little bit, notification block history, show a list of notifications that were blocked. You can turn that on. Um, I'm also gonna go up here. This, I haven't actually enabled this because it didn't work on the beta and I'm using One UI 6.0 beta. I'm gonna turn on vibration and ringer mode history as well, um, which are two that I always like to use, as well as toast mode history to get all the toasts that popped up. In case I missed a notification, I didn't know what it was for, I go look at that. So the uh, like I said, First one was the sound history. That was the new feature, notification blocked. And then the last one here in the list, you can see notification muted. That's right here at the bottom. Show, show a list of notifications that muted. So if you have your phone uh, that on a particular notification is muted and then you forgot about it, you can go through here and kind of look at a list of those, see what notifications you may have missed while you had those muted, and then take the appropriate action based on that. So Nice Checks really has a lot of cool stuff. You can also get a list of your settings that were changed. That way if you change something, you don't like it, you can change it back. Accessibility settings. This is really great for me on some phones because if I change settings a lot for tutorials, then I kind of know screen wake up history. I don't really know if I wanna see that because I wake up my screen a lot. Um, various applications that wake up the screen. Um, that will show you how bad those things are impacting your battery life as well. Uh, detect commercials. Show a list of applications that displayed ads after unlocking your phone. 
This is another good one, but Samsung's own apps do this a lot. So I don't know if they really should have that in here kind of telling on themselves, but I guess that's good. Uh, and then call mode and media volume muted history. So some nice new options to play around with. This is very useful if you're someone who, you know, gets a lot of notifications or toast notifications or vibrations on your phone. You don't know what caused it. You swipe something away. You want to see what it was later on. You can do that. So nice catch. Check it out. APK. I'll link it below, but everybody should be getting the update in the Galaxy Store. Again, uh, you do need One UI 6.0 for these new features, though. It doesn't appear that they're coming to the old versions just yet. Again, if you guys are interested in uh, saving some money on your wireless service, as well as getting that amazing international talk and text included to tons of destinations, uh, they upgraded all their plans. You go to tryultramobile.com slash Springer, also in the pinned comment description. Sign up today. Again, they're very flexible. They have one month, three month, six month, and 12 month options you can sign up for. We appreciate Ultra for being partners with the channel. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.